Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. Empaths. These narcissists that are involved in your life exerted a lot of effort to infiltrate your life. You, you need to think back. Think back. Reflect. I'm not telling you to ruminate. Just reflect back and you'll see how much effort these parasites actually exerted to be in your life. Like, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's seriously a lot. You just, you know, take a moment to reflect and absorb that. Like, because you will see that these individuals put tremendous amounts of effort to be affiliated with you. Tremendous amounts. And there's a myriad of ways that they went about this. You know, each to your personal circumstance. But before I get into that, I've launched a new free community forum on the membership website. It's open for everyone to use, build and expand, connect to fellow survivors. I'm looking at the longevity of the forum as I should have created one when I first launched a membership site. I'm also running one-to-one -one sessions. If you want tailor-made advice and me to shed some light on your issues, you can always reach out to me. The Empath group meeting is coming up on the 28th and there will be and there is a new WhatsApp and Telegram group for survivors to stay in touch. Lastly, if you want crisis email support and a plan of action, the links for all I've mentioned are in the description box below. Thank you. But like I said, these narcissists, you just need to take a moment to reflect, right? Really, in each and every one of your lives, these narcissists exerted tremendous amounts of effort a lot of effort to infiltrate your life you, you 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 really need to think about this really think about this they did right now they as i said they, they went about this in a myriad of ways some of them you know played the victim a lot of narcissists that are involved in your life play the victim role i've i've heard it from in, in countless times in sessions um, I've heard it, I've seen, I've read it in the comment section, you know, these narcissists, it's not that they make you pity them or feel sorry for them. It's, they, they, they somehow attach themselves to your empathy, right? By, by displaying themselves in a hurt, vulnerable position. So your defense mechanisms come down. Right, and you see someone wounded, you see someone hurt, you see someone in trouble, you see someone in a time of need, and often this is how relationships generally start. Not all the time, it could be in another way in your personal circumstance, and I'll touch on that in a moment. But a lot of them do play the victim role, right? And this is this is a very uh, manipulative technique that they go about. Now, I'm not saying that they weren't going through hardship. Or going through pain. They may have well been. Right. They may have generally be going through some issues. Right. But there's a way that they orientate themselves. And they use that as a binding mechanism. To play on your empathy card. You see they ain't just going to go up to everyone and everyone. And start playing that victim role. Right. Because it won't work. Some people will just cast them aside. Others don't want to hear it. Right. Others will see through them. Right. And see that they're manipulators. Right. But an empath will see someone in a time of need, desperate, um, hurting, in pain. And the savior empath streak will just take over the empath like yourself. Right. will just take you over and you'll fall right into their victim playing technique that they're, that they're, they're literally doing to to draw out this empathy from you. Right. But, you know, you, you know, the. The usual thing that they do as well. Um, another way that narcissists will infiltrate your life is the love bomb, which you've all, you've all probably heard of, is the love bomb. Um, they will love bomb you intensively. You know, some of them may actually play the victim role and love bomb you at the same time. You know, to be honest, they could combine all of these techniques that I'm going to mention. But, you know, the love bomb, they'll generally love bomb the shit out of you, right? You know, to get your to get your boundaries down. You know, you feel like you met your soulmate. You feel like you met your match. You know, you feel like this is this is meant to be. You get all of these feelings, you know. So they'll love bomb you really, really intensively. But 
they do this, you know, but this takes effort from their part. That's what I'm, you know, the playing the victim role takes effort from their part. Love bombing you takes effort from their part. It's not like it's easy for them to do this. This is a, a tremendous amount of effort that they're putting in to play this role in your life, right? You know, so most of you have heard of the love bomb. You've you've been through the love bomb. You know, this is another manipulation technique, you know. But they could do this with the victim playing role, you know. They could play the victim role. And then love bombing, like, wow, you're so special, you've saved me. And then they, they start love bombing you, combined with the victim playing role, right? You know? And another way, there's very there's a myriad of ways that they do this, but I'll just mention a few. There's another way that I think that they do this, right? And this is always associated with empaths and chosen ones. Everyone says empaths and chosen ones are people pleasers. But in fact, narcissists that are involved in your life are people pleasers, right? Empaths and chosen ones are not people pleasers. They're not people pleasers, right? They're just not, right? Empaths and chosen ones, you know, treat people with respect and decency and love and care. You know, it's not because they're people pleasing. It's because empaths and chosen ones are good hearted people. But narcissists that are involved in your life will start people pleasing you right they'll start trying to inflate your sense of self you know they'll start telling you great things about yourself and um trying to blow you up and you know this could this is similar to a love bomb but it's slightly different because that they it's a people pleasing nature right but they can they will combine all three of these in some of your personal circumstances so they will combine the play in the victim role, acting in a time of need and desperation. They'll mix it in with a love bomb and then they'll also start people pleasing you, you know, um, telling you how special you are, telling you how wonderful you are, you know, making you feel good about yourself, you know. And an unawakened empath won't see through this and even, um, you know, generally speaking, empaths, even after awakening, you still see the good in people, so this th these techniques can still fool you, even even being in an awakened empath. You know they can still fool you, right? But you know, being an awakened empath, it will take more, probably more effort from the narcissist that was involved in your life's part to to pull the wool over your eyes. But most of them, you know, the further they get closer to you and they start to realize you're awakened, you know, they. Narcissists tend to not really want an awakened empath because, you know, they know they're God. They know they're gonna let it slip eventually. The mask's gonna come off, right? You know, they can't contain it. So an awakened empath will just, you know, you know, an awakened empath ain't gonna stand for shit, right? The unawakened empaths. It's not that they don't stand for shit. It's just they're 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 looking through the fuzzy love goggles, right? But to be honest, you. Um, an awakened empath might have awakened to a specific individual in their life, but they'll start to awaken to others too. As you know, it's, this is a gradual process. The awakening process continues over a period of time in your life. You know, just as you grow with age, just as you grow with wisdom, the same as the awakening process takes place, you know. So all you've got to understand is these narcissists... Um, they exert, they put, they put so much effort into these techniques. And I just mentioned a few, you know. I just mentioned how they play the victim, how they love bomb, how they people please. What else can I think of off the top of my head? How else do they, um, you know, put it in the comment section. How else you've discovered um, them putting tremendous amounts of effort in. Um, maybe there's like subcategories, like they might, they might buy you gifts, you know. But that could be classed as a love bomb. That could be classed as people pleasing. You know, there's probably subcategories that you could drift off with this as well, which which narcissists do, right? You know, it's it's a manipulative tactic what they do. But what I'm trying to trying to address in this video is it did take a lot, a lot of effort. They exerted a lot of effort to infiltrate your life. This all of this manipulation techniques were done because they wanted to be in your life. They wanted to be in your life. And the reason they wanted to be in your life is because they know your high value. They know that you are an empath. 
they know that you have a certain supply that is out of this world to them. They know they can't find they they know they can't find this. Yes, when they seal the deal and they get you involved in their lives, you know, they'll start taking it for granted. They'll 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 you know the mask comes off and they'll 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 start abusing you, devaluing you and stuff like that. But you know, that's because they get blindsided, these narcissists that are involved in your life. They get blindsided and they forget um they forget like how special you really are till they lost you, right? And you know, they 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 do they do tend to forget, you know, narcissists that are involved in your life, they do tend to forget um that they've lost you. That that how how special you are, like how special you are and how you'll never be replaced. And that reminds me, um, I made a playlist because I realized I haven't kind of divided my videos up into playlists. So I made a playlist yesterday about you will never be replaced. I went through some of the videos and just clicked on the videos that mention about not being replaced. Maybe I can add to it some more. Um, and maybe I can, over time, I can start to make some other playlists as well. But... You know, I, I went through a few of the videos and I added some some of the videos in there that kind of mentioned about not being replaced. If if you're struggling with feeling like this narcissist doesn't care about you or or doesn't want you, you know, th this will give you some knowledge and wisdom about how the narcissist does actually want you and how they can't replace you. Even though they treated you badly, you know, they go off with their lives. They put a lot of effort in. So, you know... The reason they put a lot of effort in as well is because they want control of your mind, heart and soul, whether they're in your life or out your life, right? You know, they put this effort in to control your mind, heart and soul. So you've got to realise you can't let them control your mind, heart and soul after they're gone, right? You know, regardless how it ended, reverse discard, discard, or you cut them off because they become too toxic. You can't allow a narcissist to have control over your mind, heart and soul after they're gone, or you can't allow a narcissist to have control over your mind, heart, and soul, even in a relationship, you know. But just understand what I'm trying to touch on in this video. It, it was a lot of effort. It was a fucking hell of an effort they put in, right? You you wouldn't... If they didn't put so much effort in, you wouldn't have looked at them twice. You know, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have looked at them twice. You would have just carried about your business. You'd have just done your thing. You'd have gone to work and come home and eaten and gone for a walk and just been about your business. Like they put some effort in. Right? They put some serious effort in. Please, re looking back in retrospect, reflect, and you'll just see how this parasite put so much effort in to be a part of your life, right? And they don't forget that. You know, narcissists don't like to give away their energy easily, right? They don't like to give away energy. They like to take energy. So them using their energy on you shows how special you are, you know, and they won't find you again. They won't find you again. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you don't have to. But if you'd like to contribute to the channel, you can always find the link in the description box. And like I mentioned, if you want a tailor-made one-to-one session with myself, you want to join the end of the month empath group meeting and have access to the WhatsApp group and the Telegram group. Um, or you want crisis email support for a plan of action to deal with your personal circumstance. All the links will be in the description box below. So anyway, thanks for watching today. I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.